top 10 things you didn't know about Mozambique. Welcome to this floor and thanks for watching. As you all know, this floor is, it is always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting but lesser known facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. In today's video, we are taking you to the gas rich southern African nation of Mozambique, presenting to you 10 things you probably didn't know about this lesser talked about country. Officially, the Republic of Mozambique, it is a country located in Southeast Africa, bordered by the Indian Ocean to the east. Zimbabwe to the west and Eswatini in South Africa to the southwest. The sovereign state is separated from the Comoros, Mayotte and Madagascar by the Mozambique Channel to the east. The capital and largest city of Mozambique is Maputo with surface area of 801,590 square kilometers. The population of Mozambique in 2018 was estimated at 29.6 million people and Portuguese is the country's official language. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Felipe Nyusi of the Mozambique Liberation Front Party is the current president of Mozambique and with that said, here are the 10 things you probably didn't know about Mozambique. Number 1. Mozambique is one of the few countries to legalize homosexuality in Africa. One of the 54 sovereign states in Africa, the International Gay and Lesbian Association stated in 2015 that homosexuality is outlawed in 34 African countries. Homosexuality has never been criminalized in Benin, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Djibouti, Equatorial Guinea, Madagascar, Mali, Niger, and Rwanda. In 2017, Mozambique decriminalized homosexuality, making it one of the more gay-friendly travel options in Africa. Maputo, the capital city, offers a wide range of nightclubs and bars, live music venues and restaurants for gays. Also, Volari Bar, Coconut Lounge for You, Mafalala, Shake and Havana Clubs are some of which offer gay-friendly nights every Thursday, just to name a few. Mozambique is a totally unique and awesome African destination offering beautiful pristine beaches, uninhabited islands, wild game reserves, culture and heritage incredible and in many cases undiscovered scuba diving sites. Swimming with whales, dolphins, sharks and rays and turtles are some of the most exciting activities in Maputo city and more. It is also a heady mix of cultures and a melting pot of people, famous for its fresh seafood, perperi hot sauce, local beer and very happy fun loving people. So if you are gay, you won't have a problem visiting Mozambique. Number 2. Their flag has a gun on it. The colors of the Mozambique flag are green, black and yellow and were derived from the flag of the African National Congress in South Africa. The Mozambican flag today has green, black and yellow horizontal stripes separated by white fimbriations with a red triangle in the hoist. The flag also has an image of an eagle on it, symbolizing the country's fight for independence and was adopted in 1983. Other images on the flag include a star, a hoe and an open book. The only other two countries whose flags have a firearm on them are Guantalema and Haiti. The flag has several different meanings. The star stands for Marxism and internationalism. The book stands for the importance of education. The whole stands for the country's agriculture and the rifle stands for defiance and vigilance. In 2005, the country considered changing its flag but it was decided to keep the current design. Number 3. The country was named after an Arab trader. The name Mozambique is derived from Musa bin Bik, an Arabian trader who lived on an island off the country's northern coast. It is believed that the Arab Sheikh Musa bin Bik ruled over the northern part of the island when the Portuguese arrived in the area hundreds of years ago. The island became Mozambique Island and the name was later given to the country itself by Portuguese explorers. Mozambique Island was the capital of Mozambique until 1898 when it was moved south to what is today Maputo. The Sheikh's name, Ali Musambiki or Musa al Bik, was combined to name the country. Number 4. Both Mozambique and its population are very young. Of Mozambique's over 30 million people, over 50% of the Mozambican population are under the age of 15. The extremely youthful population is due to early marriages, high fertility rates, and low mortality rates, which keeps the population under 15 years of age. Besides the country's population being incredibly young, the country itself is young. While many African countries gained their independence within the late 50s and early 60s, Mozambique succeeded in achieving independence on June 25, 1975. This was after a civil war resistance movement known as the Carnation Revolution, backed by portions of the military in Portugal, which overthrew the Salazar regime. 
thus ending 470 years of Portuguese colonial rule in the East African region which began in 1505. Number 5. There are more than 40 languages spoken. Just like Nelson Mandela once said, if you talk to a man in the language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. It is important to know what languages are spoken in a country before you visit it. You will be amazed, however, at the power of language which will transform the person in front of you. Although Portuguese is the only official language, local dialects remain very common in everyday life. Mozambique has more than 40 different languages, all of which are part of the Bantu family. The language spoken in southern Mozambique and the capital Maputo is called Changana or Runga. It is closely related to Songa, which is one of the only official languages of South Africa. While Changana is quite a difficult language to learn, even just speaking a few words with locals is hugely rewarding. They will react equally surprised and cheerful about a foreigner speaking their local language. Number 6. The rum is the national drink of Mozambique. Deceptively sweet and known as the island spirit or rum for rebels, Tipo Tinto is one of Mozambique's most famous or infamous creations depending on which side of the coin you like more. The half rum and half raspberry soda is the official drink of Mozambique, but be warned, although these drinks may look bright and cherry, they should be approached with caution as they are notorious for their potent hangovers. Fernando's Bar in Maputo and Florentina do Indico in Ponta do Ouro are a few of the spots to get this mean drink to spice up your day, but drink responsibly. Mozambique is also known for its beer Laurentina Clara, Laurentina Preta and 2M, which are the most popular beers, and Sura Palm Wine, Cha, a local tea, and Baobab Juice. All these are some of the drinks that make Mozambique to stand out. Number 7. Mozambique has some of the world's best coral reefs. Between Tanzania and South Africa, we find the coastline of Mozambique stretching for more than 2,500 kilometers. Here and under all the waters found in the country, we find idyllic beaches and two coarse colored waters. Coral reefs, a lively capital city and a melting pot of ancestral cultures that have been crossing the waters of the Indian Ocean for millennia. Mozambique has some of the best coral reefs in the world, especially those lining the Bazaruto archipelago. Over 1,200 species of fish have been identified off the coast of the country and it is also one of the largest marine reserves in the world. The mixture of colors of these reefs will give you an awe when you see them. This is probably one of the reasons why the country is so rich in seafood. Number 8. Nando's Special Chili came originally from Mozambique. Peri Peri often hyperhenated or as one word and with variant spellings Peri Peri or Pili Pili is a cultivar or capsicum fruit essence that was originally produced in Mozambique by Portuguese explorers from the Malagueta Pepe and then spread to other Portuguese territories. The world's famous fast food outlet Nando's uses a special chili from Mozambique as an essential ingredient in its Peri Peri chicken. The bird's eye chili was introduced to Mozambique by Portuguese explorers who had brought it from South America. The African variety is now unique and grows both wild and is cultivated by farmers. Nando's started in Johannesburg and now has outlets in 24 countries including Zambia. Number 9. The Vibe of Mozambique There is no denying that above all, the best thing about Mozambique is its vibe. If you don't fall in love with Mozambique's friendly locals, Sunday afternoon street parties in Pemba, colorful choppers zooming along sandy streets, roadside bars pumping out sexy Afro-Portuguese beats or Tofu beach parties, you will certainly fall in love with its energy. That's not all. The nighttime offers endless options of places to enjoy the night away from clubs, to beachside bonfires and cozy hotel rooms to relax. The vibe is different and mixed but that's what we love about it, right? And the friendliness of the Mozambican people is one that is extremely toxic and will make you to feel at home and cause you to stay around. Number 10. Delicious food in Mozambique Centuries of Portuguese, Indian and African influences have made Mozambican food one of the best cuisines on the planet and food is one of the absolute favorite things about Mozambique holidays. Follow the sound of sizzling and scents of spices and you will find your way to one of the many restaurants, beach barbecues or barracas which are roadside stalls. Your introduction to the delectable cuisine of Mozambique begins at one of these freshly grizzled fish and giant prawns coated in butter and piri piri sauce. Prawns are the trademark dish of Mozambique and can be found everywhere. Some of the most delectable delicacies here include curry made with local spices, 
Galina Asada, Roasted Chicken, Matapa Pauzino, Sanders de Cuegio, Prego Rose, Coconut Rice and Tropical Fruit such as Papayas, Coconut, Avocados, Mangoes which are juicy, delicious and larger than life. There you have it explorers, those were the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Mozambique. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.